Hi, Chase Craig here with Chase Craig Real Estate Group and Keller Williams Realty Boise. And today we're going to talk about step four in our How to Buy a Home series. And this one's all about shopping for a loan. Uh, as you know, in step one, should you buy a house? Step two, we talked about locating a real estate professional first. Step three, was uh, going over different loan programs that are out there and getting you a little bit more familiarized with them. And now in step four, how do we actually shop for a loan? First and foremost, I strongly encourage that each and every one of you shop for a home loan. Don't just go to the first lender and say it's good. You know, it might be good, but it doesn't cost you anything to contact that second lender, get a second opinion, and make sure you're getting the best deal and the best uh, scenario for your, your situation, okay? So you can get, how do you find lenders? Obviously you might be banking with a, a local bank or credit union that does home loans. Uh, talk to your real estate professional. They probably have two or three great lenders in your area that you can shop with and don't even have to go anywhere else. Um, so that's, that's the first part. Now, the second part is how do you actually shop for the loan? Well, the great thing is about five or six years ago, um, it, the government actually required that lenders disclose what's called an APR. And what this APR is, is it's a shopping tool for you. It stands for annual percentage rate. And this is basically your, your interest rate plus the cost of doing the loan. So you can get a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, two different lenders or three different lenders and pick the best deal for you. So how do you actually do this? Now there's a certain way to go about this. You cannot contact a lender today and then call lender B, the second lender, tomorrow or the next day or next week and, and say, oh yeah, I shopped and lender A or B was better than the other. Because rates fluctuate every day. So if you contact a lender today and the rate's 4% and then you contact a lender next week and the rate's 5% and you go with the lender that you contacted first, that doesn't mean that he's a better deal. The lender you contacted first, their rates might be higher. So I strongly encourage when you are shopping for a loan, contact both lenders in the same day within the same time frame. Call them and tell them you want a good faith estimate so you can see your APR. Once you get it from one lender, call lender, lender B and say, hey, I'm shopping for loans, I want to make sure I'm getting the best deal. Can you send me a good faith estimate so I can see what the APR is and what the interest rate is and what the terms are? So let's talk about different scenarios where this actually is real life and it comes, comes into play and you might experience this. So lender A, we've got a 4.5% interest rate. They have an APR of 5.5. So in lender, lender B scenario, we've got an interest rate of 4.75. So that's a quarter of a point higher than lender A. But their APR, and this looks like 50 because I accidentally erased the dot there, their APR is actually 5%. So as you can see, the cost of getting this loan up here is significantly higher than the cost of getting this loan here. So this might be a better deal for you. Now, I strongly encourage you, talk to your real estate professional and talk to your lenders. Ask them all the questions you have. There is no stupid question. The only stupid question is the one you don't ask because you think you know it or you're too afraid to ask. Ask them anything you want. They do this for a living, you don't. You're not expected to know anything. So I, I encourage you to be inquisitive, ask all the questions you can, shop for your loan, hit two or three lenders up, make sure you're getting the best deal for your situation. I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope you learned something, and if there's anything you need, you know where to reach us. Thanks so much.